Welcome back to Lee Pitts Live and who me, I be Lee Pitts Live and where am I now? I'm at the Haitian Heritage Scholarship Gala put on annually by the Haitian American Community Coalition of Southwest Florida. This is the fifth annual and Lee Pitts Live has been the media sponsor for, sponsor for all five events. So I'm thrilled to be able to say I've been around that long. In fact, we missed a couple of them due to the pandemic. So it started about seven years ago. We have here at the reception, various people stopping by the red carpet to have a conversation about this spectacular evening. And I'm so happy to have some authentic, real Haitians here to talk to me instead of just talking to uh, Americans. Uh, uh, at this point, um, starting right here with you, uh, get this mic up. Like, even though you were born in Haiti, you identify as Haitian American? Uh, yes, sir. Right. Yes, sir. You have uh, citizenship, citizenship, right? Yes, sir. Okay, so these are all Haitian American. And this one right here, the young lady, she was uh, born here in America. So you got to learn all your Haitian culture, custom. Uh, let's, let's start off with you. What's your full name? And uh, I understand you're a college student. Where? Uh, my name is Sephora DB, um, and I attend college at Rasmussen University. Okay. Have you received the Haitian scholarship yet? Oh, no. No, okay. not yet. You, you need to apply for that now. <laughs> yeah. Okay. yeah, I will. All right. There, a lot of money is raised for that. <laughs> Let's meet this gentleman. What's your full name? My name is Enol DB. What do you do for a living? I am the owner of Fine Air Cooling and Heating Services, LLC. Okay, so I would think that right now with the hurricane, you might be getting a lot of phone calls, Extremely huh? Extremely busy. You make that money now, man. Well, you know, we try to help the citizen here that's, you know, um, endured a uh, hard hurricane. At the same time, we're making some money, that's for sure. All right, give a phone number where people can, or uh, website. The number is 239-878-7132 uh, or 239-744-6688. All right, let's go over here to this gentleman. What's your name? Premis Debe. And what do you do, sir? Uh, I'm working with Fine Air Cooling and Services. Equity? Fine Air Cooling and Heating and Services. Okay. Oh, same company? Yeah. Okay, so it sounds pretty good. So you're pretty busy. How did you have time? How did y'all find time to come here? <laughs> well, we have to make time for the most important thing. So that's why we try. We leave some important business, but it's what we I'm have to do. I'm going to be sure to call you guys whenever I need any air conditioning thing, okay? Because after, after all of that, Ian slows down, you still got to keep running. And let's meet the, uh, I think this is your wife. What's your name? My name is Monique DB. And uh, what part of Haiti are you from? La Zille. Uh, Azili? Lazil. Okay. How are you enjoying yourself so far? Pretty good. What do you hope that people will take away from experiencing tonight's event? Um, I am actually happy to see uh, which show is going to be played. So that's, what, that's all I'm... Okay. I know you don't want to. You're doing good. Okay. What do you hope tonight? that you will take away from this event. What are you excited about tonight? Well, I am not that as lucky as you are. This is my first time here. Pretty much I don't know much. After this one, I might tell you, but for now... There will I'm be some food. There will be some entertainment. Absolutely, yeah. And they'll take away some culture, the Haitian culture. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. All right. Now, you being from Ross Mussin, uh, you've never been to one of these, right? Okay, tell people what you remember, take it, uh, how you enjoyed it in the past and what you hope tonight would be like. Um, my last time attending, there was just a lot of um, different people coming out to just express and show a lot about the Haitian culture. Also, there was food, entertainment, a lot of fun. So I'm hoping for the same thing this year, just at a different level, you know, better, better. Your parents are always telling you about back home. So you, you, can't, you, you, look, you always look forward to embracing your culture? I do because, especially since I've never been to Haiti before, so I do try really hard to, you know, embrace the culture while I'm here in America. One thing I like uh, about the Haitians, uh, of the many things I like about the Haitians, is that when you when they, when you come to America, you have great values and you believe in hard work and education. Talk, how is that instilled in you guys? Well, it's very important because uh, our parents, uh, as you know, in Haiti, sometimes. They don't even know how to read, the old parents, but they make sure that we go to school. That way we can learn. So we understand it's, it's a sacrifice that they had made. So we're always looking forward to, you know, make them proud and get a better life for ourselves. How do you feel when you walk in the door today 
and see all these people here from all walks of life coming out to support this scholarship fund for right. Haitian children. That's, uh, that's very important for us. I feel like the Haitian coming out and support, and then even though it's not only the Haitian, but I mean, involving the community, I mean, we stand out, that's, that's very important for mm -hmm. us. Yeah. The um, Beatrice Jaquette Castor, she's uh, the president of the Haitian American Community Coalition of Southwest Florida. Mm -hmm. What do you have to say to her for spearheading this? She's a very smart young lady, and I'm very proud of her. I mean, she's growing up at the same uh, age um, group with us, and I remember being her um, uh, youth president. Uh, so, I mean, seeing her grow and to be representing the Haitian community, so I'm very proud, and I know she's going to keep it up and do a good job. All right. Now, the Haitian community is rapidly growing in the area. More and more Haitians are out in Lehigh and all over. Uh, people need to realize there's a lot of Haitians here now, huh? Absolutely, yeah. The Haitians are all over the place, but um, when you come to Southwest Florida, especially here, uh, you find a lot of Haitians here. Mm -hmm. the, what do you have to say to Beatrice? Did you get a chance to meet her before? Uh, yeah, I, I do. Actually, even before I met her, and I was in Canada for some time, I follow this event on online, mm. just like how you're doing today. Well, you're going to um, see yourself on, on the show here online. Yeah, I couldn't even imagine it, but um, Beatrice, <laughs> she's, uh, she's a star, and um, her brightness is all over yes. the world. So right. truly appreciate it. So she's so helpful, and I never hesitate, um, even though I'm a very shy person, if I have to go to her for any help, She's always open to us, so that is a blessing to get to know her. Well, I'm so glad that you put your shyness down and came over here and got on television and radio uh, with Lee Fist Live. How about that? Uh, the um, uh, at Ross Musson, do you have many uh, any Haitian Haitian students there? Um, yeah, I've met a couple around my age, even like um, younger than me, who are attending. So yeah, there's a couple of Haitians that attend. Also, it was a Haitian. My Haitian group of friends, my girls, they influenced me to go over there, so yeah. What do you plan to be when you grow up? A nurse, for now, but I plan in the long run to be a pediatrician. What kind of grades you making in college? All A's at the moment. Okay. <laughs> well, they have scholarships, so be sure to read in that brochure when you get your brochure, and uh, you might get some scholarship dollars. How proud are you of your daughter and what she's accomplishing? Uh, she's a smart one. <laughs> she's not going to work for the uh, cooling company. Ah, well, she do that as a part time. I mean, when I stuck with some of paperwork, you know, so she step up and help me out. So good way to get some training. I appreciate her. Yeah. Well, uh, thank all of you for coming by. I know you got to go inside, but I'm so glad that I got a chance to to talk to you and uh, keep up the good work. Okay. Thank you. Appreciate it. Stay right there. As the saying goes on this particular show, Miami may have the oranges, but the Haitian Heritage Scholarship Gala has got the juice. Lee Pitts Live is the media sponsor of tonight's affair. And on November the 4th, when we have our Lee Pitts Live at the work social, all the proceeds from the door will go towards this scholarship fund as well. And we're excited about that. So check us out on November the 4th, Lee Pitts Live at the work. We'll be right back.